When Killzone 3 comes out on February 22nd, it's going to be your choice on how you're going to control the ISA. You can use your DualShock 3 like you did in Killzone 2, or you can use PlayStation Move. number of uh, journalists who have gotten their hands on the PlayStation Move and on the Sharpshooter have been thinking, actually, this is the killer app for PlayStation Move. So we're going to show you how the Sharpshooter works. Now, you need to use the navigation controller to control your troopers in a, in a first-person shooter. So uh, that actually just snaps in right here. So the real advantage of the Sharpshooter is the fact that it takes advantage of the extension connector. That's this little port on the bottom of your PlayStation Move controller. You're probably wondering what that's for. This is the first time it's actually getting used. That goes into the back of the controller. So games like Killzone 3 or SOCOM 4, they utilize all the buttons on the PlayStation Move controller. And it'd be sort of inconvenient for you to have to reach onto the top while you're trying to aim and shoot at the same time. So that extension connector port, that remaps the buttons to other parts of the sharpshooter. Now the Move button, which controls going into and out of cover for Killzone 3, is mapped underneath the trigger. So you can just reach under there if you want to go into cover and then you use your thumbstick to peep out and then you're popping caps. So, really? I said that? Yeah, you did. Wow. <laughs> it's good to mention here also the placement of the navigation controller. You control your soldiers with this. Uh, menu and, and other uh, weapons are selected using the D-pad. And uh, you'll aim down the sight with the big trigger here. And if you want to use a grenade, that will be the L1 button right over here. A couple of months ago, Herman Holst from Guerrilla Games talked to us about how he adapted Killzone 3's controls to work great with PlayStation Move and even better with the sharpshooter. gaming uh, and us being a first person game you're literally right in the middle of the action so you're you're right in that cinematic experience and then on top of that you've got that very intuitive PlayStation move control implemented in the sharpshooter I think you know when you see these kind of peripherals often you have a little pistol on a cord uh, but this is a full flex design where make kill zone accessible to a broader audience and move really helps there